We're going to take a few moments and take a deeper look at the relayer objects command found in Trimble Business Center Heavy Construction Edition 3.6. This is a new feature in 3.6 and it can be used to, it's simply what it does is, you know, relayer objects. So basically changing the layer of an object. And where this really comes in handy is in a case where we're trying to clean up or convert a PDF file into a vector uh, or business center project for let's say stakeout or other data prep type uh, activities. So what ha happens is when I take this PDF, I'm gonna right click on it. I've already got it rectified and scaled accordingly. So I'm gonna import the vector PDF data. And one of the options or some of the options that we have is to preserve the native PDF layers as well as other ones like you know joining dash lines or not joining dash lines. But this one here, preserve native PDF layers. So by selecting this, I would expect that the layers that were created in this PDF actually come into Business Center. Now, the problem with this particular file is when you see it as it comes in, is that the line work is gonna be placed on layers based off a of style. So I'm only gonna get a handful of layers and not the actual native layers that the CAD data was originally on. The reason for this is that the way the CAD file was published is there's a toggle in the, the driver for that published to PDF file in the CAD systems where the operator can turn off the, uh, that, that feature so that it doesn't preserve the layers in the PDF. So what you end up getting with is a layerless but yet vector PDF. So you can see here there's that you know, everything is on a handful of layers. If we turn off the image here using the toggle visibility, which is a new feature in 3.6, you'll see that I have layers you know, that are join dash, but they're all based off of style. So what I need to do is I need to really start moving information around. I want edge pavement on the edge pavement layer. I want contours on their layer, uh, so on and so forth. So, you know, I can't just select objects by layer. I have to actually pick the individual object and change its layer. So that's where this relayer objects command can really come in handy. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's turn off and actually just leave on the cyan layer. So I'm going to turn off all the other layers. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is we'll come in here and you'll see you know, as I turn these down the brown now I'm left with just this hot pink layer so everything on hot pink is all on one layer and I need to move it to its corresponding layer so I have in my project template the layers that I want information to go to so I want this edge of pavement to go to the edge of pavement layer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the relayer objects command and I'm going to come in here and we'll select you know the object so I can come around here and I can use my control key and I can pick uh, these, these polylines or these lines that represent the objects. Okay, so you can see, I think there's one here that actually has two, um, looks like there's a duplicate object on there. And we can clean that up uh, is using the project cleanup tool as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this simply to the edge of pavement layer for stakeout. And we'll click okay. And now I've got all that information or those lines on that layer. Now. I could come back and pick the next one and keep doing it. Well, I'm going to show you a shortcut here or a tip. If I go to support and I use the define command shortcut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to come in here and assign certain commands to certain keystroke shortcuts. And you can do this without any command, any command in Business Center. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to find the relayer object. So I just picked R to move down to the R's because that's the command. And I find the relayer object command. You can see I've already assigned it to my shortcut called Control R. So I can come over here and pick any keystroke that's listed in this list. All right, I'm gonna use Control R and I'm gonna click Close. So I've already assigned that. So now that I've done the first one, all right, going back to edit here, it doesn't really matter where I'm at on these tabs, but I can simply just come in here, pick the object, hit Control R, and it's gonna reassign that object. So I'm gonna pick the next object and I can go Control R. So you can see that as I go through here, it starts changing it. Now, one of the other things that you can do to speed this up is um, I'm going to turn off the edge of pavement layer. So now I can see that when I pick that object and I control R, that information goes away. So again, I can pick this one and I can even hold my control key down and select a bunch of them at the same time. So I'm just going to work my way around and we're going to pick those objects and we'll go control R and that information will go away and just Again, working your way around. So I'll just pick another spot over here. I'll pick that line and we'll go control, we'll pick that line, uh, control, pick this line, and then control R. So I'm quickly working my way around the site, relayering these objects. 
So we can do the same thing with other objects like sidewalk, but before we start with the sidewalk, what we need to do is come up here and pick the relayer objects command. We're going to come in here and assign the sidewalk layer, and then we'll come up in here and we'll select the objects to relayer. So I'm gonna pick just this sidewalk, and then I'm gonna click OK. Now that I've done that, you can see it's on the sidewalk layer. So, and all I have to do is come in here and pick these other objects. Oops, wrong one. Let's pick that one and then go control R. We'll pick this one and go control R. And again, I'm working my way around picking the site. And I, so I can quickly relayer these objects to their appropriate layers. So I'll go control R and now they're on a sidewalk layer. So, Kind of one of the deeper looks, um, again, looking at the setting up the, your shortcut commands and showing you how you can use this relayer objects to quickly convert a PDF file that has been uh, brought in with everything on one layer, convert it to its other layers. So to learn more about Business Center uh, Heavy Construction Edition, contact your local site tech dealer.